Hey everyone, so in this video we want to check out how to create a website with the website builder of Jimdo. The good part about Jimdo is that it's fairly easy to do. So I promise you if you watch the video till the very end, uh, you will have your own website ready and live online so for people to check it out. Before we start, make sure you check out the link down in the description of this video. It will give you a free trial so you can test everything out before you have to actually purchase something. And without further ado, let's start. So when you click on the link in the description, it will take you to this page here. Then you can click here on start free and then you can sign up with Google, Facebook, Apple ID or with your email. I will go ahead and do this now. On the next screen, it will ask you what would you like to do. You can create a website with Jimdo, you can create an online shop or a blog. So in this tutorial, I want to show you how to create a website. So you click here. So on the next side, it gives you kind of a dilemma between the new editor, which is Dolphin, and the old editor, Creator. Uh, they say this is for coding experts. And so I assume you're watching this tutorial. We go with, with a normal editor without HTML and CSS, and it's called Dolphin. So we click on Start Now. Then it will take you to some sort of survey, and it will ask you a couple of questions. And depending on what you answer, it will uh, create a website design for you. So first question is, do you design it for a group or for me? I will create it for me. So click next. Then it will ask you, is it a personal project or is it a business or a new business you want to start? Let's say I want to start a new business. Click next. Then I can give it a name, for example, Julian's website or something. And then it will ask you what kind of goals you have with your website. So for example, I want to promote my physical business. I want to get bookings online and I want that customers can contact me. So you can select whatever suits you the most and then click next. And then it's kind of ask you like, what's your, uh, what's your website about? So depending on the answer, they will give you the colors, the fonts, which kind of fits the niche the most. For example, if you create a doc site, this will definitely look uh, different when you have a poli site about politics or if you're like a fin finance company or a law company. Let's say I want to do a digital agency here, marketing and PR. So I click it and then I continue. And then what kind of style you want? I go with modern. Don't worry, you can uh, change those later. For now, I take the blue here and click continue. And then it starts generating you like two different designs where you can choose from. One here in the dark version and one in the, a more brighter version. I usually take the bright version, it looks nicer. And then I click down here on continue. And then they first uh, ask you to start with a domain. It actually gives you a free domain with their paid plan. So you can go ahead and choose it. For example, here they suggest me juliansweboute.com, but you can also browse for more options. Then you could just click here. And then they, they give you some recommendations here uh, on which domain you can choose. You can just type in whatever you want here and see if it's free and then simply select it. For example, I will just go with the first one here and then they redirect you to the pricing plan. And here you can choose actually from yeah what kind of plan you want. Here are the plans for the online shops. But since we're doing a website, you would have to choose from this. And let's say I would take the grow plan. Then I can just uh, check out here and pay per year, fill in all the details and purchase it. For now, I go with a play plan here because I just want to show you how it works. And if I click it, it will directly take me to the editor of Jimdo. And as you can see, they already created the site for us. They chose a text style and a coloring and they also put in like dummy pictures of like people in a digital agency, let's say. And now we can go ahead and fill, fill it with our content. What you see here is the editor, the Dolphin editor of Jimdo and the way it works here at the top, you see a couple of items and you later on can edit these content blocks. For now, we start with the design tab here. So I click on design and what it gives you is the options of choosing different colors here. You can either type in your own color with a hex code. You might know this, if not quickly Google it. It's like an individual color coding system. So to identify every color, but the easier way to do it is just to say, okay, I want brighter colors, for example, and then it gives you some templates here. And if I click here, you can see it changes directly or this one, it changes the whole feel and look of the website. 
But for now, I kind of want to stick with this. But yeah, whenever you have a branded color you would like, you can type it in here or, or look, it, look for it here or choose a color scheme here. The same with font. So the font setting is also in here. You can choose from. And the same with the buttons. You can say if they are, should be sharp or rounded. And the whole purpose of it is that you don't have to go in and edit everything individually. So for example, you could go here and change this button and this button, and then you would have to change those two buttons again. And that that's why it makes sense to make it global, right? So because then you don't have to click each element and change it one by one. For now, we're done here. So we chose the color and the style of the heading and the fonts. And for now, we're good. On the next tab, you can see pages. This is where we add more pages. I will show this to you in the second step. And here you also have some options when you later on want to add like an online shop. You can see all products, add a new product or customer feedback. Here on the right side, you see uh, redo and undo buttons. So whenever I, for example, deleted this part here, then I can just go back and put it back in. I also can go on a preview and this will just show me how the website will actually look in my browser on the desktop and on mobile. And you can just double check if everything looks okay. So when I go back here, this is the top bar. You can also publish it here. And yeah, for now, you if you are on the play plan, you get the domain here, julianswebsite.jimdusite.com. And it's actually free, but you see everyone will see it's it's a Jimdo site. And uh, yeah, when you are doing this professionally, you might want to upgrade and click get your domain here. Yeah, next we want to go here with the menu bar at the top and see what we can do. For example, here you can go on block design and then it gives you different options what you can do. You can select here different layouts, how it should look like and it moves around, for example, the button and the logo. Yeah, but usually you want to have the logo on the left and the menu items on the right and the call to action on the right corner. And you can also give it a different color. If you like the black version here better or a blue version, you can just choose from. You can also make it transparent, which I think it's pretty cool. It's quite easy to do. And then you click just done. And then you have uh, already added the menu. Yeah, and next we want to do actually the fun part and edit the content of our website. So the way it works, the way you have to think of it is that it stacks up content blocks on top of each other. So for example, this is the first block here. Then you have the second block. So, and th those blocks can be also separated in two columns and you have different elements in these columns. But for now, we wanna see how we can change uh, this block here. So I can simply click in here and change the, yeah, the text, whatever. I can go like, welcome to my agency or something. And I can also change this text if I want, just simply click in it, change it. I can also make it here bold or italic. And yeah, changing the image is also quite easy. You simply double click on here and then you can choose image. You can either upload your own image here or they give you a preset of free stock images you can use here from Jimdo. And yeah, they separated it in different categories, for example, health and wellness, home and garden, and so on. For our agency purpose, they give you a free selection here. So I can choose this one, for example, then click add image and it directly uploads this image now. And yeah, as you can see, this is pretty cool. Now you have a new image. Yeah, the next element in the top bar here is this button. So for buttons, it's quite important that we actually link to something. So you can go here and click the link icon and then we can either uh, link it to an external URL or to a booking service, or we can uh, link it to a different page. And then it shows you directly the different pages of your website. For example, if I want to link this button to the consulting page, I just simply click here and now it's linked to this consulting page here, which we come to later. In example, the next uh, content block here, you can also change again the text and the button and link it wherever you like and fill it with your content. And what we can also do here, click on this eye and then you click on it and it shows you, okay, in this uh, content block, we have a title, we have a text and a primary button. We can also add a secondary button if you if you want to, and we can also add an image if we like. 
So then it fills you with dummy content and, and you can just click on it again and here image, choose an image or also a video. But for now we choose an image and then I can just simply put it, click on this image and it swaps out the images. So as you see, this is fairly easy. What you can also do is now the whole change the whole design of this block. And uh, yeah, it gives you some selections here. For example, you could go like this, change it like that or change it like this. So as you see, the power of Jimdo is because of the whole templates and that you don't have to pull around all the elements by itself. For example, in the Wix website builder, you, you can put the elements wherever you like. You don't have this freedom in Jimdo. So that can be very bad for professionals, but it can be also very good for beginners. Yeah, Jimdo makes it quite easy for you to design websites, which actually look pretty cool because of these templates. And it's, as you see, it's just a matter of clicks and you can change the whole design of it. When you're satisfied, for example, I think this looks pretty cool. You can just click done. You can also duplicate and make a copy here and then paste it somewhere else. If you're not happy, you can actually delete the whole block. And here are like two important things. When you, when you want this block at the bottom and not at the top, you can simply select it and then you go here and say down and then it pushes it automatically down. And now it's at the bottom. Yeah, back to the top, we can add a new block from scratch. So, and then it gives you on the left, like different variations, what we can choose. We can choose an about section, just a text section, an image, a slideshow of images, a, a banner, so where you can promote things. You can even go with music and put in music there. You can put in bookings, a menu for your restaurant or a contact page. So I think the contact page is actually quite nice. You can just click it and then it automatically puts it in. Then you can choose here, enter your business address, for example, New York, and then it automatically loads the page of New York, Manhattan here, which is pretty cool. And as you see, it's quite easy to just add content blocks to your page and edit the text, the headlines and the images. And once you did it for the homepage, of course, your website should have more than just a homepage. Then you can just click here on the second page. For example, in this template, it's called appointments and consulting and my services. And it's also filled with content. You can change those content blocks, of course. And again, you can change the images here. And whatever you like if you don't like this sad guy here you can just choose her <laughs> a little bit more friendly or as said upload your own images and if you're now like want to change the name of the menu item you can click on pages and then you can go here just click in it and say for example appointments call it like projects for examples and now it's you could list your projects here instead of an appointment Or you can simply add a new page. Uh, for example, you, we, let's delete this first because in the free trial, it just gives us a couple of pages. Uh, then I can click add page and just say, for example, pricing and just add it. And it gives me, gives me a blank page with just the footer. And now I can, could add blocks here and put like my pricing table here and, or whatever I want there. You can also change the order of the items here by just dragging it up. And now the pricing comes after the home page. And I can also make the pricing page a sub page of the project page by just pulling it a little bit right. And then you see like a small line there. And it gives me now a drop down menu where you can have the project and the pricing here. So as you can see, it's fairly easy. I can also undo it by just pulling it back. And then it have, you have projects and pricing it's done fairly easily. So yeah, here you have all your pages and you can, uh, with a pro plan, you can create more than five pages, of course, and make sub pages to everything and then fill those pages up with your content. And then you have something called system pages. And this is actually the imprint, the privacy policy and the cookie settings. So the legal stuff. Uh, I'm not a lawyer, so I won't go into this too deep because I, I can't tell you the truth here. Uh, but yeah, just simply check it out and you can upload your own imprint or your own privacy policy here, your own text. And they also have like a cross sell here where, where you can upgrade to a, a legal package and then they give you the texts and the cookie banners and so on. But yeah, going back to the homepage, 
This is then pretty much it. You can then preview the page and see what you have just have done. <laughs> and then you can finally click on publish. And when you publish actually this site now, uh, Julian's website dot .com is live. You can share it on Facebook, Twitter and send someone to to the email. And since you are like want to do this professional, you probably now at this point want to buy your domain. So you can just click on uh, buy your domain and be done with it. So I hope you liked the tutorial. If yes, consider giving it a thumbs up. So this tells the YouTube algorithm that it, this is a good video and see you next time. Bye.